Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. Sorry for yesterday. I was hanging out with friends and I was being lazy yesterday. I'll, yeah, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I was straight up being lazy yesterday. I wasn't really thinking ahead, or, or I wouldn't say ahead, before time. I wasn't thinking about. Before what I was doing, I just wasn't thinking at all yesterday. I was trying to relax. Freaking all of last week was just exhausting. So <clears throat> it was, uh, yeah, I was mainly just preparing to hang out with one of my friends. I hadn't seen them in like a good year. Like we've talked with each other. We've played video games and everything. But yeah, I hadn't seen them in like a, probably a year. I think so. I think it's, I think it, I think it has been a year because I was it has it been it, it, it was either the beginning of the year I gotta ask them um because I was like I think it, it has it has been a year so uh yeah I was like I was just mainly preparing for that and stuff and it was cool hanging out with my friend like I uh was hanging out with her family uh we watched this ghost show what else did we do freaking ate that had some root beer floats I had some Mike and Ike's yeah, it was a good time. I liked it. It was relaxing. Like, days where I could just, like, just sit down and just be chilling. I mean, I'd do that at the house, but then to have other people there, it's, like, it's it's relaxing. It's relaxing. So, I'm, like, yeah, I, I definitely got to let her know that. I'm, like, hanging out with you guys is just straight up relaxing. But, anyways, so, what I wanted to talk about, all right, was, I felt like my phone just went off. Hold on. No, it didn't. Okay, maybe it was just the lighting or the lighting or something. Something. It looked like it went off, and I was about to say, all right, no distractions. But anyways, this ain't a serious episode, but more so an episode to just give people advice out there. And that's to always, like, I guess if you can't trust the person, don't have them in your involved in your life. Like, if, if you can't, I'm not so much as, like, trying to say, like, to rely on a person, but if a person is just not seeing the full potential that you have, if um, they're always putting you down, they're always shutting your dreams down, if, like, they're just overall just not being supportive, then, yeah, that's drop them. You, you, you have to drop them. Like, I... I feel like, because I don't know, like, I started talking about what I was doing yesterday, and then I'm talking about this. I'm letting y'all know right now, this friend I was hanging out with, this has absolutely nothing to do. I just made a video for her telling her how sh supportive she was and stuff, so, no, there are no connections. I'm, I, I just feel like in my head, somebody's going to be thinking that I'm being petty, but I'm not. I had this idea beforehand, before I was even talking about my friend and stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm just letting y'all know right now. This has no connections whatsoever. I like it no connections. All right. So, but anyways, back back to the advice that I want to give you guys because no, even talking about um like my friend. Actually, no, no, bringing my friend into this because she's like I have to say that's definitely been one of the most supportive friends I've ever had in my life. Like, and I've had, like, very, 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 very low amounts of people that supports me in my life. But she has been super supportive. Like, I really, like, she has, uh, one of, like, she has a T-Moss Boss hoodie that I had made. And I remember it was, like, there was a day, because I was just sitting down just, like, chilling or doing something. And she sent me a, me um, a message, and she was just like, oh, it's this time of the year. She sent me a photo where she was wearing a hoodie, and I'm thinking in my head, like, there's like a hundred million hoodies that you can have in this world. But the fact that you decide, I mean, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they ain't her only hoodie and things, but yeah, I'm like, the fact that she just, like, she took the time to, like, send me that, like, it's stuff like that that makes me happy. You know, it's stuff, and then even when, uh, I remember, I think I told her 
when I was creating either my third or fourth, I think it was my third YouTube channel, and she subscribed to it. She subscribed to it. I'm like, she didn't have to do that. She, uh, what else has she done? Yeah, I'm like, that's, even I remember when we very first started talking, there was like somewhere she was all like, she was uh, even talking about how supportive she was um, towards me with YouTube and things. And I'm like, it's it's stuff like that where I'm like, friends like that, yes, have those type of friends in your life. Have them, okay? Cherish them. Take care of them. Do whatever you possibly can to repay them. Because my thing is, it's like, if you can get to me mentally like that, I have to get to you mentally in a good way. Like, in a good way. Because in a good way, you got um to me mentally. And I'm like, it's not too many people, like, have done that before, so... That's why I'm like, people that can get to you in a good way mentally, those are the type of people that you have to have involved in your life. The ones that give you a positive attitude, the ones that give you like hope, you know, because my thing is when er every time when I'm making a video, there's like a selected people in my life where I'm like, okay, like I'm making this video for them because like, or I'm just like giving YouTube or just anything that I do the time amount of day for them. Like she's involved, family members are involved, other friends are involved. And I think about them because I'm like, I really, really, really want to help them. Like my parents, my sister, uh, my, yeah, a few good, few of my, like a few of my friends. But um, yeah, it's like just those that have giving me some advice or have been so, um, somewhat supportive and things. I'm not asking them to be supportive every day. But the fact, and if you do have somebody that's being supportive to you every day, like they're, 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 like what you're doing with your life, like, and it's like having a positive outcome and things, like if they're super supportive towards that, then yeah, then that's, and they're doing it every single day. Yeah, then that's like, you you have to like pretty much like repay them your whole life. Like and and that's and that's the thing. Like you can't do people dirty like that. You can't. Like if somebody, cause my thing is, is that this friend once again, she how supportive she is towards me. And I'm like my like you know like you're like one of the first few people in my life to be like this supportive towards my like dreams and goals and stuff. Like I have to repay you. I have to do something for you. And she always says no. My thing is, is that I'm like, I'm regardless, like whether she has said no or not, like, or yes, then um, I'm like, you know, like, but I, I just, I have to do something because I can't be like 80, 90 years old. You know, I have, <clears throat> I have my like whole life behind me. And then there's not, not one memory of me doing something for her or repaying her back. Like, yeah, that's why I'm like, no, I told her, like, I'm going pretty much like, if anybody knows the YouTuber David Dobrik, we're making at least a, a few videos like that. A few videos like his where I'm giving her something. I told her, I'm like, I'm going to invest. I told her, I was like, I'm going to invest money in your business. Most likely, I'm going to buy you a fancy house, fancy car. Like, no, nah, like, you are one of the original supportive people in my life. Like, that's, that's it's rare when you find people like that so that's why i'm like you can't go your whole life like you allowed somebody to build a ladder for you and you don't even thank them or at least like tell them to follow you so we can like get to this promised land and stuff yeah i'm not like, i'm not with that i'm not with that at all that's why i'm like i i try when i when i support people i try to support the right ones the ones where i'm like okay there if they say thank you that's all i really i all i really look for is a thank you or a good looks bro something like a, a form of a thank you but if i've done something for you and i've received absolutely nothing don't expect me to see me in the future do do not expect me to see me in the future i'm i'm letting everybody know that right now like if i've done something for you and i even get like a thank you a thumbs up something some form of a thank you yeah I, I just i can't be involved with people like that man like that's that's the type of stuff where i'm like they're they overall just seen right past what i did and that's why i was like i kind of had like that idea too where to talk about how people care more about a person with followers and money and everything else 
than a person that doesn't have all the money, they don't have all the followers, and they're saying the same exact thing as a person with the money and with the followers and everything, and how people will listen to that person with everything versus the person with nothing. And that's why I was like, that's what this podcast was originally going to be about, was that people only listen to you if you have some dough, if you have some cash. And if you can find a person that they don't care about that, they're going to listen to your dreams, they're going to listen to your goals and what you got going on in your life. Overall, that's what this whole episode is about. Have those type of people in your life. They were there with you when you had nothing. They were supportive, patting you on the back. They were giving you a shoulder to cry on, lean on, however that saying goes. But they were there for you when nobody else was. So that's, I'm like, that's, to me, I'm like, I, you were there for me when I was freaking sleeping in my parents' house, barely had um, anything to my name, barely had anything like going off on social media. And now here I am, like, well, I'm not there now, but I'm saying, like, in the future, like, when I'm, like, there in the future and things, I'm like, now I got this fancy house, then got my parents nice cars, nice homes, then did everything I possibly could for everybody around me and things, and you're still here, and you're still showing me the same amount of support you were showing me back then, and if not, it's probably then grown, like, the support has grown with you and things like Yeah, I'm like that those type of people, man, like you, you have no choice but to keep them in your life. Like it was meant for it was meant for that person to be involved in your life. So that's I'm like, yeah, I I, I try every like I try to pay attention to that type of stuff. I try to remember all that type of stuff. Like when people supported me because it was her uh, another it was like a few of my friends where it was like. Bro, like, I didn't even, there was even another friend of mine's, like, I remember this dude, he was sitting, I think I've talked about him before, he was watching, he was watching my YouTube videos while we were playing, like, Grand Theft Auto or freaking Destiny or something, so I'm hearing my voice in the background, and I'm like, bro, please turn the camera, or please turn that video off, like, I was there, I recorded that video, but no, it's stuff like that where I'm like, all right, well, just expect, like, whatever. I'm going I'm to straight up, like, lure him into a trap. Like, I'm going to be all like, bro, what's, like, a nice car out there? Like, what's your favorite car? Because I'm about to just buy that and then just show it off in front of your face. Not real, like, him not even probably realizing that, hey, my friend is a rich YouTuber and he's asking me what kind of cars do I like. Huh. That's not normal. Like, something, something don't seem right here. I but and I would probably lie too. I'm like, bro, I don't have enough. Like, I don't have enough money to just be buying cars for people, which I probably would if I'm hitting them up and just be all like, okay, I like, I'll probably do it like few hundred thousand subscribers from now. Straight up, just lie, buy the car, then park it out in front of his house. I'm like, keys is yours. Take it. Take the car. Like this, this. And I'm like, I I seriously do like some positivity payback. I'm like, this is payback for supporting me when I had like. A couple of thousand subscribers and you was giving my videos viewership you was watching my videos you was putting my videos a little a tad bit higher in the search results by watching it by subscribing to my channel and stuff like that where I'm like yeah I can't I can't let go of that I can't I cannot be like 80 90 years old and remember and then like remember that stuff and then realize that I've done absolutely nothing for you guys that's why that's why people, when they see me, I'm like, I'm constantly, like, working on this stuff, man. I Today, I just created two new YouTube channels. So, in total, I have nine YouTube channels and this podcast. So, technically, technically, if you think about it, I got, like, 10, no, 11, 11 jobs. I mean, of course, this, uh, like, this cashier job downtown Seattle. But if you think about it, each individual YouTube channel, like, that's a job right there. So I'm working constantly, 24-7. I might sleep at night, but throughout the, when I'm up, when I'm awake, I'm constantly, like, writing down ideas, doing things. Like, yeah, I'm like, I right, man, it's crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's just crazy when I sit down and think about that type of stuff. And I'm like, man, I, like, you know, for, and for those friends that, like, if you, if you ain't supporting, like, every channel or every decision that I make or everything, like, if you supported one decision that I made, 
or one idea that I made, cool, thank you. I will give you that same amount of respect back, if not more. So anyways, but I'm going to go ahead in this podcast because I got to work tomorrow. And probably I might work on some YouTube videos for a few minutes tonight. So I'm overall not trying to run my time too late. So anyways, thank you guys for watching um, and, and or listening. However you're viewing this, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up. And the Seat Geek promo, I'm pretty sure. If you're yeah, if you're if you're a daily listener to my podcast, then yeah, you you know the Seat Geek situation. If you are purchasing tickets from the website Seat Geek or their app, and you're purchasing tickets to a basketball game, a football game, a golf game, do you purchase? Do people purchase tickets to a golf game? Like, is that a thing? Like, or do they just like? How do they? I'm I'm pretty sure they do, but do you go to a website to purchase, or do you just go to the like the little country club that's being held at, and then you just buy it? I need to do that one day. I need to see the process of buying golf tickets because I'm like it doesn't even seem like it's like a season thing. Like you, I man, well I haven't heard anything about golfing now. It's probably like during the summertime. That's when like golfing is really active and stuff. But anyways, back to the Seat Geek promo. So yeah. You're buying tickets to a sport event, a music show, a Broadway show, um, what else? Anything that you can purchase tickets for on SeatGeek, okay? If you're on that website, SeatGeek, and you are purchasing tickets, make sure you use my promo code, TMOSBOSS, and it'll knock 20 whole dollars off your first purchase. So I'm saying, like, use use that to your advantage, please. Use that to your advantage, because let's say you're bringing a date. And then you save that $20, right? You want to impress this person. You still got that 20 So go take them to freaking, I don't know, your favorite restaurant and get them something worth $20. I don't know. Do something. But anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, how else? How the hell? How do I end this? I don't even know how to end this anymore. Freaking, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. My name is Tyler, and good night. That that does not feel normal. I don't feel like ending it like that. How do I usually end it? I, and then I hadn't recorded the episode like yesterday, and now I didn't forgot how to, re, um, how to end my own episode. I'm gonna be here all night trying to end this episode. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and or listening. There, there we go. That's how I usually end it off. Okay, okay, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.